good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy note 10 plus 5g and i have updated my mobile phone from the android 12 to android 13 one ui 5.21 this rom is supported from galaxy note 20 ultra for the note 10 series and this rom can be flashed on galaxy note 10 note 10 plus and note 10 plus 5g but remember that the exynos chipset one this rom cannot be flashed on snapdragon chipset rom is working perfectly samsung dax is working very perfectly i have connect my mobile phone with the help of a cable and yes i saw that samsung dax was working and is working uh, amazingly and uh, rest all the things like uh, bluetooth connectivity yes working 4g lg or lte yes working calling outgoing incoming calls incoming sms outgoing sms whatsapp everything that we are using for daily driver yes they all are working about camera wow really good camera and uh, the rear our front camera both are working perfectly so watch this video if you want to flash the rom on your mobile phone and if you think that videos are helpful then you can appreciate me by subscribing my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all do not forget to like the video and keep sharing it with others thank you so much these are the files and uh, links are all provided in my video description just make a new folder and download all these files first of all download samsung usb driver and install it on your windows which will help us to detect the mobile phone after connecting it in odin mode with computer and if you have already this uh, file installed on your windows then there is no need to reinstall it this is the magis root application odin and safety net fix the rom file this is the one ui 5.1 and y13 custom recovery and vb meta requires to flash with the twrp extract the odin 3.13.1 in same folder then double click the extracted folder of odin and double click the odin file to open it click on yes on next window and click ok then you will see the odin will get open so i will go back to my downloaded folder and will come back to the odin screen and then first of all click ap on the odin then go to your downloaded folder and select the twrp 11 v1 d 2 x now i would like to inform that this twrp is for particular galaxy note 10 plus 5g the code name for of no galaxy note 10 plus 5g is d 2 x and if you are flashing this rom on note 10 then the particular recovery for note 10 is available on the website and same way for galaxy note 10 plus also the particular custom recovery is available in on the website where we can download the rom file one rom file for every galaxy note 10 series but uh, the custom recovery we need to be careful we cannot flash this custom recovery d2x on note 10 or note 10 plus this recovery the code name d2x will only be flash or will only be installed and gone galaxy note 10 plus 5g this particular one vp meter file will be flash on the galaxy note 10 note 10 plus and note 10 plus 5g recovery are different so i will select this recovery file then i will click on open then i will click on cp and i will select the vb meta file from here and click open so first of all i would like to inform that galaxy note 10 or note 10 plus or galaxy note 10 plus 5g the exynos chipset one must be on latest stock firmware must save all the internal storage data because this procedure will format everything check your mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum like 50 to 60 or 70 percent and the most important thing is your mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked because because this customized rom will never ever get flash on the lock boot loader and one more thing boot loader will remain unlocked as far you are using the custom rom if you want to relock the boot loader then first install or flash the stock firmware 
then you can relock the bootloader this is one ui 4.21 then i am currently having it on my mobile phone and white version is 12 this is the currently latest firmware available for my mobile phone connect your mobile phone with internet either if you have wi-fi connected or other if you have a mobile data then can turn on your mobile data first go to these settings then go to the account section if you are having a samsung account sync your samsung account then must remove it same way uh, sync your google account and must remove it turn off your mobile phone lock screen by going to the lock screen and selecting the swipe as a screen lock type you i will go to software update then i will click download and install let the set to connect with this server to check the update first and your software is up to date now you must do this step because we need one more thing and what is that i will go to about phone tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven then i will go back to settings then we'll go to developer options and definitely uh, the oem unlocking will get prominent if the oem unlocking is not prominent the odin screen will show pre-normal which will not allow to flash the rom or to flash the custom recovery so we have done all the steps that are required for before the flashing custom recovery on the mobile phone power of the mobile phone hold the data cable check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer we have to boot the mobile phone into odin mode for that mobile phone must be power off mobile phone boot loader must be unlocked press and hold the volume up key volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone it soon the warning screen will appear so release both keys then press the volume up key once the Odin mode will get appears on your mobile phone. This is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. If you see that the model number is N967N, binary is Samsung official and FRP lock is off and OEM lock is also off but in brackets U which means that bootloader is already unlocked. Odin is ready and Odin detected my mobile phone by 0.com3. Now go to the options, untick the auto reboot then go back to log and click start the recovery flashing will get started pass done click reset click exit and coming back towards the mobile phone now must check that the cable will be connected do not disconnect the cable the mobile phone still in Odin mode we have to boot the mobile phone to custom recovery for that Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and then power key just hold it press, wait when set to reboot release the volume down key first and Samsung logo appears then release the power key and just hold the volume up key until you see the custom recovery screen. We got the custom recovery screen, I have released the volume up key. On this screen swipe tap wipe then tap format data and type y e s and tap here so you can see that the red lines and after done then go back to the main screen tap reboot and tap recovery once again swipe then tap settings then tap the third menu make the sc screen time out to maximum and then go back press f2 then come to the end of the file name just erase the apk the extension and type zip then press enter we have to change the or we have to rename the extension from apk to zip click yes on this window the file will get converted from apk to zip copy magis file then copy the rom file and go to your internal storage of your mobile phone then paste all that files on your internal storage of the mobile phone. Both file gets copied coming back towards the mobile phone. Now tap wipe then tap advanced swipe select the first Delphic partition then cache then data then product and vendor right then swipe. Done go back to the main screen tap install and select first the rom file and swipe now the flashing will get started just wait 
flashing done go back to the screen and this time select the images file set ip file and swipe after when routing succeeded go back to the main screen tap wipe tap format data type y e s then tap here and then tap reboot system just notice that uh, i didn't disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now wait the mobile phone will start booting to the rom finally the uh, first boot completed complete the setup screen now rom got flashed perfectly and we are having a uh, few new features that are coming with the one ui 5.1 i will go to about phone and uh, i will go to software information now the mobile phone is uh, updated from one ui 4.1 to one ui 5.1 from android 12 to android 13 right and the build number if you can see that the latest one ui 5.1 rom name now we have to do few more steps to get the play store certified and to get the cts pass the cable is connected yes uh, usb file transfer select uh, just changing it to midi then transferring files android auto to get the internet storage on the computer screen the internet storage is appears on my computer screen now we'll go back to download it folder and this time what we have to do first we need to rename the magis root file once again press f2 and erase the extension file zip now this time rename the extension again from zip to apk and then press enter once again click yes now select this file and safety net fix file copy these these two files from here go to your mobile phone internet storage then paste that both file over here and we are finally done from the computer disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone now going to menu then to, we'll open the my files uh, allow the access and we'll go to internet storage essentials just tap to select all scroll down and we can see the bo both files first of all install the magis file tap done go back go back to the main screen and uh, to the menu you will see magis app here icon over here tap to open it tap allow and if you see this thing that your device needs additional setup for magis to work properly do you want to proceed to and reboot tap ok the mobile phone will uh, reboot wait for it now finally the mobile phone got rebooted unlocking the screen we'll go to menu once again then we'll tap the magis icon to open it once again and this one it will come every time when opening the magis application just tap cancel then go to module section tap install from storage tap recent select my galaxy note 20 ultra scroll down here we go the module file safety net fix tap to select and then tap install ok installation will get started done then go back to the magis screen and tap settings scroll down turn on the zygisk turn on the zygisk and turn on the enforce denial list go back tap here and tap reboot Unlocking the screen, we'll go back to menu and we'll tap the Magis application once again to open it. Again, tap cancel, then tap the settings. Just check. Both options are already turned on. Go back, then tap modules and check. The universal safety net fix is already turned on and there is no red lines over here before adding your google account must go to settings then to apps and uh, clear all data of google play store first and then go back and 
clear all data of google play services that's it now you can add your google account and after adding your google account open play store check that you will see device is certified and download the safety net checking software application from google play store check you will see cts pass and safety net is also passed so do not forget to like the video keep sharing it thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye